What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with your favorite kind of videos that I make. That's right. You can tell by the title. It is a haul video. I have a lot of stuff. You guys know I like to shop. It's my favorite pastime. Things that I got. Most of it's makeup, of course. I have a few non-makeup items. Um, I bought a lot of makeup from MAC, of course, and I've bought several things for them on several different trips, so I kind of go in order based on what's closest to me. Okay. So the first thing that I want to show, and also some of this stuff, I just put it in MAC bags just to make it easier, so it might not necessarily be from MAC. I got a Lancome mascara. I got Hypno Star mascara. This is my first time trying this one. It's in Noir Midnight, so it's really black, I suppose. First time trying this one, and so I'll see if I like it or not. I'll let you guys know. Again, some of the stuff is not MAC. I'll pull out what I see for sure is not MAC. I got this from Target. This is Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condish. It has soybean plus aloe in it, and it is, they claim, the best darn leave-in conditioner, period. So to me, it kind of smells like lemons. It's very clean. I like this brand. I did my hair today. I didn't use it because I didn't know where it was, but I had forgotten. I put it in the bag to put in the haul video. But I bought it like maybe last week, so I'm just thinking I had already filmed that. But yeah. <laughs> okay, I got the Smashbox Primer Water, which YouTube is like, yes, you need this primer water. Da 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 da. I actually have not used it yet um, for like a full day, so I've sprayed it just to see how it feels and it's fine. But I haven't worn it underneath my makeup like for a full day. So I'm interested to see how that goes over. And I got the little bitty baby one just to see if I like it. And this one is $16. So it's a good way to see it without investing $32 in something and you don't even really like it. So yeah, they had that they had that little bitty one like in the checkout, you know, where they sucker you into buying stuff. That's why I picked it up. I have to have at least two of these at all times. This is my eyebrow pencil in Spiked. I use it every day. Um, the day that I bought this, I basically was out of, I have like three that I just keep, and I was out of every single last one at the same time. I don't keep, I, don't, I guess I should just maybe like just keep one back up that's not open, but literally I was thinking in my mind the day before, like dang, it's been a long time since I bought an eyebrow pencil, it's probably about that time. So I went to go do my eyebrows and all three of those eyebrow pencils were out, and I'm like... I really didn't like anything else. I didn't really have a whole lot of options. I had eyebrow gel, but it just was like dramatic for the look I was going for. It. So I ran out of the house like a mad woman and I got my spikes because I cannot be without spikes. Blush. And I surprisingly don't have this, or if I do, I don't know that I have it. This one is called Spring Sheen, and it's a really pretty, like, light peach blush with a lot of, like, golden reflects in it. So I'm excited to have that in my collection. I got a blush refill. So I bought a, bu a bunch of, like, blush palettes probably, like, sometime late last year. And honestly, I decided that I don't really like palettes just because I feel like they just always look dirty, and I prefer to be able to see the colors and not have to write stuff on the back and plus I, I just like everything to have its own individualized packaging so I'm deciding that I'm not doing any more palettes unless I have to and so if it gives me the option to buy individually then that's what I'm going to do but I had one more empty slot in my pinky like plum blush palette so I got this blush right here and this one is breezy so that is going to just fill up that palette and then after that I'm just going to get um, colors that are in the pot individually. Okay, so from Lancome, I also got a few more things yesterday because they had their gifts going on, so I was like, why not? Um, well, actually, me and my mom, she let me have this, so, um, this isn't enough to qualify for the gifts, but I did get this, and this is the Seals Booster XL um, Mascara Primer, and I have never even, I don't, well, I'm not going to say never. I don't remember how I like mascara primers because I don't remember if I've ever used one. And if I have, I don't, it's been so long ago that I just click, I just really don't remember. So I'm interested to try this one. Lancome makes like my favorite mascaras. They just really get your lashes like super long and like pretty. So, I mean, I feel like they're worth the 
money. A lot of people might feel like they're just really, really expensive, but I do feel like they're worth the money. And so it came with this little purple tote, which I thought was so cute. Like you can like keep this in your car if you want to take this to like put a bat uh your beach towel in or something. You know, something you don't care about. So for the gift, you could choose, and we chose to get the scent. It has the um, body wash, body lotion some type of skin perfector or something and then a little bitty baby is this a baby mascara i think this is a baby yeah it's a baby defender seals so i love those to put in my um purse and then they always give a moisturizer and this one is the i'm not even gonna butcher it's a night cream and it's good for hydrating the skin used from nordstrom and let's just take a minute to see how adorable this box is how cute is this box so i don't know the how to pronounce this so i'll let you figure it out y'all are smart y'all know how to do it so basically, um, I feel like these shoes were a good deal. They were under $150, and basically they're just like a good pair of black pumps. They're not too tall. So like, you know, like you can have like a good heel to throw on. And I really see myself really, really utilizing these in the fall. So it has like the sexy cutout to it. And I do wear a size 11. So never mind that it's long, whatever. So I really, really like the silhouette of the shoe. I feel like it's a classic shoe. And really, I feel like you can never have too many classic black pumps. Because you know, you don't want to dog your one good pair. So a nice pair to add to the collection. And I really like this designer. Basically, this designer is somebody related to Vince Camuto. So, that's what I read on that little paper. I don't know what that little paper is. So, I'm definitely going to check out more of their shoes in the future. These are super good quality. These actually feel like a pair of luxury shoes. And they were under $150. And that's really getting harder and harder to find as the days go on. Especially if you wear a size 11 or even a size 10. It's just really hard to find good quality shoes that, aren't, that don't cost an arm and a leg. Seriously. Pair. This pair is by uh, Dulce Vita. I'm sure y'all are more familiar with this brand. So these are just black sandals. Just black flat sandals. Which I also feel like you can't have too many of these. Because you wear them so frequently during the summertime, you know. So I have a few things in this bag. And some of the things, some of the things are drugstore that I had to have them because they look beautiful but these are the Vegas Nay Allure lashes and I got the ones that are are these Grand Glamour I think that's the name of them so the blue ones um, soft matte lip cream and this one is in the color Transylvania I basically got it because everybody else said they loved it I put it on I cannot get an even application with it so I don't know how much I really like these I don't know if it's just this color because it's so dark um but I can't get it evenly on my lips so let me know if you have any tips um I haven't tried putting a lip pencil underneath first and then putting it on, but I don't, typically don't like to work that hard with my lip products, to be honest with you. These came out with the um, Extra Dimension Eyeshadow Collection. So these brushes are not, well, I know this one isn't entirely new. I thought this brush was new, but I already had this brush from the Alluring Aquatic Collection, but it was just in that blue packaging. So I was like, what the heck? It's a good brush. It's a uh, split fiber brush, so it has natural hair on one side and then synthetic hair on the other side and this one is the 233 brush and then I got a split fiber like blending style brush and I don't have this one at all this one is the 234 brush honestly I'm not sure if these brushes are limited edition or not I got some backups because honestly I hate running out of my staple items this one is my NARS foundation in Syracuse and it is the sheer glow foundation I have that on right now it's one of my favorite foundations so I got a backup of that because my other one was getting pretty low and then I got a backup of biscuit um this is the NARS creamy radiant concealer and this is like my favorite concealer at the moment oh my gosh I just love this concealer so much it's so amazing like it's just creamy it blends out well this is a good match for like just if I want to conceal under my eye no highlighting nothing I have it on right now just a concealer that's it 
But then I picked up a new one for me. This one is custard. So I got this one for highlighting purposes and it's like significantly lighter than my skin tone. This one is medium one and then custard is medium slash dark one. So that's that should tell you like how big a jump it is. So yeah. Okay guys, I know I was supposed to be done with the wash and dry collection, but I went back and I got one more thing. And the only reason I got this is because I was looking so hard for my Mirage and I just absolutely could not find it. So I was like, while it's out with this collection, I guess I will grab it and add this packaging to my collection. Honestly, like thinking about it, the last time I had that lipstick was when I was in Miami. So it could very well be in Miami or it could very well be with one of my friends that I went to Miami with. So that was a while ago. That was like two years ago. Can you believe that? But anyways, Mirage, I couldn't find it. So I got it in the wash and dry. Okay, so something I'm so excited about having uh, is this flat iron. I think I just got some on my teeth. I did it. Okay. Is this flat iron. This one, I used it today to flat iron my hair. I have noticed a huge difference in how, like, silky my hair feels, even though my hair is kind of weird right now. I've been outside. It was raining, so it poofed back up. But that's just my hair, though. And it's still pretty flat. And I am not natural, so I still get a relaxer in my hair. It's like, it's really time for a, for, for a relaxer right now. You can see my roots have even grown out, like the black. It's really time for me to get a relaxer right now but this did a fantastic job this is the t3 single pass flat iron it's white and black it's cute it's compact and i really like it um uh, it won the allure beauty expert award which really holds a lot of merit to me because i've been reading allure magazine since i was a little girl and most of the time if they have this little, little sticker on a product that kind of means that the product is pretty good like honestly they don't really nominate trash to be honest with you so I got this. I used it today. I got it. I mean, I'm just really impressed with it with how it literally I only had to go over it one time. In certain spots, I did do two times just because I like to add a little curl in some areas on my hair. Like right here, I would get this straight and then go back and bump it. But other than that, I didn't have to go over my hair more than once at all. So this bad boy, I was also excited to go ahead and grab this. I've been wanting it for so freaking long that but it creates endless styling possibilities so I've yet to use it this is kind of what it looks like I can open mine up so you can see it I haven't taken it out of the packaging or anything like that just got it yesterday right here I have like a little hole am I missing something right there because this was like over it but I was like am I missing something right here if not the packaging is kind of weird but yeah, it has this one. You can switch it out and do this one. You can switch it out and do this one. So I'm so excited to upgrade my curling wand setting. Then I picked up the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. And I got the color translucent. So it has a little bit of a yellow sheen to it. Instead of just like the regular, iridescent, not iridescent, but clear translucent powder. So there's that. From Nigel's Beauty Emporium. So the first thing that I got from Nigel's was an Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. And I got the color chocolate. I have not had this pencil in so long. Also, I got two Makeup Forever primers. I got the Step 1 primer. Um, that's what this is called and then I got the number one which is a mattifying primer and I actually got a sample of this first before I got it so I've worn it and I will tell you when Makeup Forever says something does something like if they make a claim towards something doing something it is going to do that and it's going to do it in the best way possible so this really kept my skin matte all day long and I wore it on an eight hour work day so when I'm like hustling and bustling and girl my makeup was still looking the same way when I was getting off. My skin just looks a little bit dull. This one is the number nine so th they have two of these like for um the it's a radiant primer they have a yellow one and then they have the orange one so the orange one will be best suited for people who have a deeper skin tone than me like probably like NC50 and darker you would probably want to get that if you feel like your skin is just not radiant enough so I decided to get this one it's like a yellow color and I have not tried this one but I figured why not throw it in since I'm making an order 
And then I got the most coveted Inglot products like probably ever. This is their AMC Gel Eyeliner. And I have a few other of these that I got a few years ago when I went to Miami. I don't know if you guys saw their video or not. But I decided to get this one just because it's so black. Every time I see it like on an Instagram photo... I've seen it a few times in real life and I just have to stop people and say, excuse me, what kind of eyeliner is that? It is so black, so pigmented, so rich, and it's almost always this. And this is the number 77 black eyeliner by Inglot. I ordered two items from Camera Ready Cosmetics. And this is my first time ordering from them, but I will say I had a very pleasant experience. The website is really easy to maneuver and also the shipping was super fast and I felt like they were just an overall professional website so I will be ordering things from them again alright so I got the Ben Nye shimmer powder and I picked it up in the color banana they have two other colors they have a lighter one and then they have the darker one I was contemplating on if I wanted to get the darker one which is called topaz these are like similar to the like really really popular Ben Nye banana powders topaz powders but they added a little bit of shimmer to it like so it'll be a highlight so I was debating if I wanted to get topaz and like just really make that like a body highlight kind of tool but I decided to just wait and see how I like this one first and if I liked this one then I would go back and get topaz I kind of opened it up already I do like this product a lot it's really finely milled and I like that if you can kind of see that and then I'll do like a baby swatch because I'm, I'm really not one to swatch things right now and get dirty but I know this product is like super new I haven't really heard anybody talk about it I just so happened to stumble upon it and like I just couldn't get it out of my mind like a banana shimmer powder like I have to have that so that swatch sucks but you can kind of see it a little bit it's really finely milled I will definitely use it in an upcoming video so just so you guys can see the texture of it I'll talk about it a little bit. this which I was like the most excited about because all the professional makeup artists like big time makeup artists they all swear by the vi I don't know if it's pronounced Visar or Viziar because I've heard it both ways and I meant to call y'all I'm such a dork that if I don't know how to pronounce something I will call like your customer service and I will ask you that because if you don't know how to pronounce it how in the heck do you work there so typically I will call customer service see how to pronounce it if it's serious to me I, I seriously want to know how to pronounce this is it Vise Art or Vizzy Art and um and no but I just forgot and it's too late now but I got the neutral yes the number one basic palette and this is the packaging that it comes in a lot of people complain about the packaging but I understand why they make the top clear because if you're doing makeup and you're on set and on location and you're trying to figure out what kind of color eyeshadow you want to do you do not have time to be opening up palettes so I'm fine with the packaging it looks fine to me it's small it's compact it's sleek it doesn't take up a lot of space so I'm fine with it it has like a little bitty baby artist chair on here which I thought was cute and then it has all these really pretty neutral colors and I'll just kind of swatch maybe one I'm really interested in that one. Ooh. Oh my god. So then I got this hot item from Laura Mercier. I'm like really on a Laura Mercier kick. I guess I've purchased so much stuff from MAC that I'm just venturing out and like really like gravitating towards another brand. And that brand just so happens to be Laura Mercier. So she came out with a um, luminous highlighting powder. So you guys know that highlighting and contouring is like super huge right now. Like that's like such a big trend. And basically... I just had to have this because it was beautiful. So here's the packaging. It's kind of bulky, but then when you open it, it comes with this nice mirror and then look what's inside. It's like this really pretty, like majestic wave of golden goodness and <sighs> Okay, so now for the big boy of things. This is where we're about to be here for another 30 minutes. Like this other part of the haul, it went really fast. But this part is where we're about to talk about some things. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw where I posted a picture of a Mac box. And basically, I was like making a joke like, you know that you bought a lot of stuff if Mac didn't even send you a black box. Like they just sent you a regular brown box. Like, girl, we we'll won't have time to play with you. So I did the mother load of Mac shopping basically with this with this haul this Mac haul I got all 
almost, I got almost everything. Not everything, because I still, I still don't want to spoil myself, you know. Gotta have something to look forward to. I got almost everything I have ever wanted from MAC, like, period. Plus, a little, little tiny bit of refills of things that I ran out of. But mostly, this is, these are things that are just brand new and I just wanted to have in my collection. So, let me go ahead and just... Start picking things up and showing you guys what I got. You guys saw my last video on the matte lip collection. The ones that I picked up. I ordered this in this haul just in case you haven't seen it. I'll link it down below. And I'll just name off the ones that I picked up. I got Antique Velvet. Naturally Transformed. Whirl. Men Love Mystery. Stone. Matte Royal. D for danger and tropic tonic right there so if you want to see a more detailed video <laughs> on what I think about these lipsticks if you want to see swatches and stuff I'll link that down below but that's already up on the channel this brush this is the first time I have owned this brush this is the 263 small angle brush by Mac I have the 266 I have the two something else and then I have the 208 I think I think I have a few angle brushes by Mac, but I just don't own this particular one So I went ahead and got that I got a new lip liner and I noticed in my collection that I was really lacking orange lip liner So I got this one and this one is a pro longwear lip liner and it is called what a blast It is a orange lip liner with a tinge of red So I'm really excited to use that this okay. time about it this one is Rags to Riches Dazzle Glass. One of my very favorite lip glosses, like, period. It's a really pretty, like, pink blingy with purple and, like, green glitter in it. And I just absolutely love this color. Hi I have a Pro Longwear lip gloss, which they also have discontinued every single last color of these. So. This one is Persistent Peach. Really pretty color. I'm really upset that they're discontinuing them all, but hey, that's why. I got a Dazzle Glass and Smile, also a color that has been discontinued this week. Look at that. Sorry. It's a What? I don't understand why you wouldn't want it. Like, I don't get it. I, I truthfully don't get it. No other brand makes glitter lip glosses like MAC makes their Dazzle Glasses. So for them to not to take away colors, like, just kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Um... I got a pigment in Museum Bronze, and this has been on my list probably for about three years now. And it's just this really pretty bronzy color. It almost looks like my shirt. Yeah, Jess. It's cute. Here's a swatch of that. It really favors my shirt. So obviously I like colors like that. Lip liner, another pro long wear. And I did not have a pinky lip liner. So I got this oil, a dark pink. This one is more to love. I lied because I have magenta. But magenta is kind of purpley. This is like true pink. More to love. I have been wanting this for a while. This is the Charged Water Skin Hydrating Mist. And this one is in the Mineralized line. So it's a little bit different than Fix Plus. To me, it feels a little bit thicker when it goes on the skin, basically. So it kind of feels, I can feel, I don't know, it's like I can feel the ingredients more. Sometimes when I spray on Fix Plus, it kind of feels like really light and airy like water. But this one kind of feels like it has a little bit extra oomph to it. Like almost like a moisturizing property that Fix Plus just doesn't have. So I really like that. I have been wanting this for so long, so I went ahead and got it. This one is the set powder, and I have the one in Invisible, which I really love that stuff. So I decided to get the one in Soft Yellow, and I basically am probably going to use this one underneath my eyes, or if I want to, like, kind of even out my complexion, I might use this one all over. But it, this one is, like, significantly smaller than Invisible, so I'm kind of like, mm, about that. I got Pink Poodle by Request Lip Glass. So this is like, yes, 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 yes. This is, okay, so when I was little, I just got so hyped up. When I was little, okay, it used to be a Pink Poodle lip gloss, all right? This was the color, all right? And 
they continue to have pink poodle lip gloss but they totally changed the color I'm excited that they brought this back with the buy request and i don't know why it took me so long to get it but i'm glad that i have it it's like this purpley pink color that is really iridescent so i don't know why they would even change the color at all i might need to pick up another one of these because they came out with this with this collection last year and i love this color love 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 this color. brush i had this but i just needed another one just because i always ha constantly have this dirty because obviously i do gel eyeliner and stuff like that every day so i have a few eyeliner brushes but i just needed another one Andermean came out with the matte lip collection last year i didn't get it Every Everybody like raved and raved and raved about how much they loved it. So I was like, what the heck? Let me get it while I still see it. And I knew I wanted it. It's a matte one. So I love Max Matte. So another one that came out a while ago. This one came out with the Artificially Wild collection, I want to say. This one is called Touch the Earth. It is a mineralized lipstick. This is my first mineralized lipstick. I will definitely ch uh, try this out. Let you know how I like it. But don't aren't these like just so pretty? These look like so luxurious for Mac. And then the packaging does this. It's giving me kind of like Nars, but not as like not as fancy as Nars as packaging, but it's still really nice. I got another pigment which. I wasn't sure if I had this pigment or not, but I do have this pigment. This one is Old Gold Pigment. And, um, yeah, I'll just take my other one and put my other one in my kit. But I love this color. I love colors like this, obviously. Like, it's just really pretty. It's a golden pigment, but it has, like, green reflects to it to me. Like, it literally looks like gold that has tarnished, which sounds disgusting, but it's really pretty as an eyeshadow, though. Pigments, which I just had to get it to close off my MAC pigments that are like those um, metal ones. So this one also looks like a metal. So I have gold i have platinum i have um copper and now i have rose gold so i'm kind of interested to see what this looks like so i'm gonna just take a little bit and swatch it ness of it you can see that i got some palettes I got, I got a lot of palettes because I got a lot of things that I'm doing with these palettes for my kids. It's a fluid line eyeliner this one is in the color royal wink color such a pretty like like bright electric blue so i'm excited about this one this one was limited edition a long time ago they brought it back with the philip what's his name philip tracy collection and i decided to pick it up and then i love the chroma lines so i just got some colors because i really really want to do like pops of colors this summer in my makeup routine so i got landscape green and i love these just because they're so pigmented and they really look like the color that they are in the okay. paint pot that i've been wanting for so long but i never got just because i know i won't use it that much but i just wanted to have it in my collection just in case i did want to use it and that one is clear water paint pot yellow chroma line this is made for eyeliner or for bases like you can kind of use it for a variety of things so I definitely am going to be incorporating these into my summer look. I got a Pro Longwear eyeshadow, which these also, literally, literally, everything that's in, in here has been discontinued this week, basically. So here is Carefree eyeshadow, Pro Longwear eyeshadow. I know this is not super popular at all. But it's like this really pretty golden color that reminds me a lot of like nylon, but not as stark. So I was like, I need that. I just literally looked at all this stuff the other day. And I got a Dazzle Glass in Money Honey. Look at that. Look at how that caught that light. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's not doing it justice in here. Dazzle Glasses, they are my absolute favorite jam. Love them. All right, I had to have this brush for whatever reason. It's a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This one is the 213. And it's like a dome shape and it's really fluffy. So it's good for like packing on pigments if you don't want them to be as pigmented. So yeah, I picked up one extra dimension eyeshadow and I have a lot of them. 
so if you guys want to see a video on those I will do that these are permanent now this one actually didn't come with that little bubble thing over so maybe they don't do that anymore I guess maybe they were like that doesn't matter but um, this one is sweet heat ba basically everybody says that this is like a baby superb and it looks so close to superb to me the uh mineralized not mineralized but the extra dimension highlighter that came out so long ago that everybody goes nuts about so if you didn't pick that up probably get that because it gives you that same effect if you want to put it on your cheek just get a little creative with it one that i picked up this one is marine ultra is that what it's called yeah marine ultra oh, look at that. oh my gosh how stunning is this blue? Like, I love chrome eyes. I feel like they are, like, one of MAC's most slept-on products. Like, MAC has been having colored cream eyeliners. Y'all, wake up. It's in the pro section. Oh, I forgot about this. I got a kabuki brush. And I've been wanting this brush for a while. And this is it right here. And this is the 182 brush. So, there's that. You can just apply your product. And get it on there really nice and even. Love kabuki brushes. So I did not have that one for whatever reason. So I was like, now. Um, one more paint pot. This one is a limited edition paint pot. It came out so long ago. And I didn't pick it up. But I always regretted it. And this one is called um, Genuine Treasure. Treasure. And it's so pretty and sparkly. And so I decided to get it this go around. Like, I remember it coming out, like, probably 2010. And I just didn't get it. And I was like, oh, I want it. It looks like sand to me. Like, really pretty sparkly sand. So I was like, I have to have that. It's just a good one if you don't want to wear eyeshadow that day. And you just want to put some on your lid. Like, that's a good one for that. Well, actually, this is the only thing that I had to refill that I just ran totally out of. Um, I got the cleanser the lotion the serum and the moisturizer and i really like this stuff it has a vitamin c in there and they redid the packaging but it still looks like rainbow fish so i really like lightful stuff and i use this in conjunction with my clarisonic and i like the results that i get my skin feels really clean so a lot of people don't think about mac for their skincare but definitely check it out it's really nice it feels very luxurious but it doesn't cost a lot of money so pressed pigments which I've been wanting pressed pigments for so long. I meant to get one more that I didn't get. So I probably picked that up. But this one is mauve. This one is deeply dashing. Really pretty brown. Flicker. It's so goldeny. It's so nice. Rock candy. Sparkly pink. That'd be pretty. And then this one is amethyst. So I'm going to add these to my collection. And in my collection with pressed pigments, I have the ones from Holiday that just came out this past year that are really pretty. And Black Grape. And I have one more. I can't think of the name of the one I have. But anyways, that's all I have in my haul today, guys. Um, I said that's all. Like, I did just didn't show y'all all this stuff. But... <laughs> I'm out of stuff to show. So that's the end of the haul, I should say, rather. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're interested in any of the things that I got. Let me know if you've used anything. Or on Instagram, if you've done a look with some of the makeup stuff that I picked up. Tag me. I love looking at stuff like that. Like, some people do it. But so many people comment. And they're like, yeah, I tried it and da 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 Tag me in on Instagram. Let me see. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Smooches.